Good afternoon, Gossip Girls. How are we today? Um, I'm here with Helen Turner, um, and we're going to do a really good in interview. Um, Helen is a really inspirational woman to lots and lots of people. So I have been dying to interview you, Helen, for ages. So this is going to be really, really good. Um, so when you come on, um, let us know. We're streaming to um, the Lancashire Gossip Girls, to Gossip Girls, um, Women in Business, and to LinkedIn as well. So hi to everybody. I hope you're all right this this afternoon. Still think it's this morning. I feel like it's been a long day already. <laughs> so, um, Helen, do you want to tell us a little bit about what you do for your um, – you've got, like, like, two businesses, really, haven't you? Yeah, so I'm an accountant by profession. Um, so I work as head of finance with a group of leisure centres, which I absolutely love. Um, but my true passion is around isogenics, which is my and just helping people get healthy because yeah, they you know you don't have anything, do you? Yeah, and like you've got a big story that demonstrated that exactly. Um, so do you want to tell us about that and how you got into what you're passionate about? Yeah, um, so it goes back some time. I was diagnosed with anxiety and depression around 2011, 2012, uh, quite serious. My husband was bed bound, very, very sick. I'd had some very close bereavement, so I was not in a good place at all. Yeah. I was a full-time carer, had a very young daughter, working full-time, and I was trying to juggle it all, as I think, we all try to do because you know everyone's got their problems there's somebody worse off than you somewhere and you lose sight mm -hmm. of how bad things actually are so i ended up being diagnosed with anxiety depression i was not in a good place fortunately um i got the help i needed very quickly i medication wasn't an option for me so i went down the therapy road which i absolutely embraced and then rediscovered my love of fitness because my whole life I've been into all kinds of sport and fitness I'm one of the annoying people who likes the gym <laughs> weird but I love it it's like my therapy but I'd lost that I really mm. had so I was kind of getting better but I was in a job in a very toxic environment that was not helping it was kind of holding me back in recovering but I was quite close to home I was earning good money and I just thought, you know what, because where I, how I was brought up was you go to school, you do well in your exams, you get a good job and, you know, that kind of traditional path. And yeah. on the other side, it looked like that I'd absolutely done that. I had, you know, a great career, nice house, the cars, the holiday and all of that. But on the inside, I was just empty, burnt out, exhausted and struggling, you know, battling mm -hmm. really with mental health all of the time. So I got a call out of the blue from a friend in Australia who said, Isogenics is coming to the UK, do you want to get involved? I had no idea what it was. Never heard of network marketing. Thought oh, it would be something dodgy, it'll be a pyramid, which I don't even know what one is, but everybody says it. <laughs> it's like, oh, pyramid, yeah. you know, one of them. It's going to cost me a load of money, I'm going to have a garage full of stock, I'm going to have to go and do parties in people's houses, and it's just, no. But there was just this tiny little light, sorry, that's my computer going off. <laughs> Let me just get rid of that. Sorry about that. The joys of life. Okay. Um, so I was just open and I just thought to myself, what if there is this tiny, tiny, you know, this little ray of light in me was saying, what if this is something? What if this could be the thing that you've been waiting for for the change? Because all I kept thinking of is, if I go and get another accountancy job, I'm just going to be in the same position. Mm. I might earn more money, but I might be further away from home and, you know, it's not going to help. So I just started looking, and like any good accountant would, did my due diligence. The more I looked, the more I liked, the more I found out about it, the more I kept thinking, you know what, I could really be onto something here. Found myself in Australia for 12 days, doing this fact find, which... I still think back, back to that and like, how did that even happen? How did I manage to arrange childcare and everything? But by that point, I was so certain that I really had found something special that I really... So what made you? Because being 
you mentioned being open. So mm -hmm. what made you be open in that first place? I think because it sounds awful, but I think I was desperate for something. I knew I couldn't continue where the way I was because I'd already been diagnosed with some mental health issues, which I was working through. But I thought if I don't make a big change here, yeah, I, it'll end up even more ill. And as we, you know, mental health is not to be sniffed at. It's a, it's a yeah. Biggest... And when you've been diagnosed with something like it, it does make you kind of like think, like, right, what can I do? You know, what's it makes you do something, doesn't it? It does, and you just think, you know, I, I really embraced all of the therapy, and I still now, I mean, if, if I could show you around my office where I'm sat, there are personal development and mindset books from one end of it to the other, and every single day I do some form of development like that because yeah. you know, I just drew up from Altrincham, and I've had an audiobook all the way home talking about mindset, and that's just daily now for me, but I, I didn't know all of that stuff was out there. But I think I was at the point where I knew if I didn't do something, I was going to end up very, very poorly. Mm. And it's quite frightening when, because we have no family, there is nobody else. I have friends, of course, I have lots of friends. I'm blessed with some amazing friends. But they all have their own lives. They have their own kids. They have their own jobs and so on. But you were worried about the kids, were you? Yeah, well, I had those, you know, Martin was bed-bound. So he could right. be caring for and my daughter was only five or six mm. and there's nobody else and all of a sudden I think it's just me and this five-year-old kid and what happens if something you know if something happens to me where does that leave her yeah yeah like when no, we were chatting before scary. you said the roots like health is the root of everything isn't it oh, absolutely and you know I gained weight I wasn't eating properly um and this you know it leads into the isogenic thing with nutrition and the power of it it's not all about yes weight is an issue for a lot of people either putting it on or taking it off it can be as big an issue both ways but i wasn't eating properly i was living on sugar and caffeine and by the time you know Haley was in bed at night i either hadn't been shopping because i hadn't had time so it would be a takeaway mm -hmm. or i just couldn't be bothered so i just wouldn't bother eating at all and that yeah. is it's not healthy, you know, take, we all have a takeaway and it's again, ba it's balance. But when that becomes the norm and all you're doing is eating, you know, drinking coffee to stay awake in the morning and filling myself full of sugar to get through the day, you know, I'd be nearly asleep at my desk at, in the afternoon and it was just this treadmill. And I couldn't yeah, a lot of people struggle with mental health problems, like, and especially this time of year as well, like I'm feeling it too with like the change in the weather and stuff like that it takes some time to kind of get used to and you can feel that kind of heaviness um and uh, you know when i was having conversations about it earlier on this week i, I spoke to a, a few people about nutrition as well you know because it does affect how your brain works it, it does you know so much and they, it was the nutritional products that attracted me first with isogenics and when i was in australia i could see physical results because the products weren't available in the UK yet so I could see yeah, and you were hearing stories and seeing people and yeah there was you know weight loss stories there was athletic performance stories but then there was how you know how best normal people's stories if you will so just somebody who hasn't lost a huge amount of weight or suddenly becoming a massive athlete somebody who just like me needed to get healthy to yeah. get out of habits to get some kind of lifestyle balance where 80% of the time, you know, they're looking after themselves, you're eating well, you're eating good food, and then the other 20, yes, you go out, you know, if you have a few drinks or whatever you want to do. And looking, you know, I was watching stories of mums who were shattered, and then all of a sudden they've got the energy back to play with their children, to mm. go to the park, to do things rather than, you know, one lady I'll never forget said, now she says yes instead of no, because yeah. the kids, well, mum, can we do this? Can we do this? Can we do the other? And she was like, no, no, mum is too tired. Mum has got to clean the house. Mum has got to do this. Mum has got to do the other. And she said she was just completely exhausted the whole time. And it was because she was not feeding her body properly because she was, you know, and we've all done it. So she'd make the kids the dinner and then she'd just pick half a chicken nugget up and a few chips or something off the yeah. kids. Yeah. That would be that. And she wasn't looking after her. 
Mm. So when I could say the power of the nutrition, for me, it was a game changer because it was so easy to do and easy to fit in. And you do eat proper food as well. So everyone was like, do you actually eat? And I'm like, yes, all the time. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So there's going to be lots of people, um, women in business watching this. Um, so do you have some tips um, for ladies in business, how you run your life and your business and um, how you've got your passion with things and, and any tips for people? For me, the first one, always be open. Be all, because if I hadn't been open to the opportunity, I wouldn't be, you know, mm. where I am now. I've got a job I absolutely love that I'm very, very grateful for. And I would never have found that. I've got a business which is very, very successful. And I wouldn't have found that without being open. And if you're happy in the work that you do, it makes a massive difference because we spend yeah. a lot of time working. So that'd be the first thing, be open to opportunities because they come to you in weird ways. You know, the universe works in strange ways and... You just have yeah. to kind of watch the opportunities come to you. That would be one. The other one, I'll obviously say nutrition, because the difference, whatever it is you do, um, if you get your nutrition right, you know, there's lots of different healthy products and things like that. Obviously, I stick with mine because I know they work. And yeah. they work for me. But getting that nutrition right makes so much difference in so many areas because your energy, you're then more um up for going out as into fresh air into doing some mm. you know activity not just sitting around you're not lethargic so then you're into exercise exercise is a non-negotiable for me i love it there are times when i'm like oh the gym i'm tired i've got a stack of work to do but it's just non-negotiable because the link for me between physical and mental health is massive it is just yeah it's, it's interesting that you said it's a non-negotiable yeah that's a really good way to to put it yeah and it just if if you get into that kind of thing you know whether it doesn't have to be you don't have to go and kill yourself on a spinning bike you can just go for a walk for 20 minutes it's mm. just moving moving your body and you find it's also finding what you like so do you know somebody says to me go and do We've been laughing about it. It's a club of size. It is absolutely not my thing. It, it just isn't my thing. I like spinning, weightlifting, and so on. Some people love club of size, wouldn't go near yeah. spinning. And that's absolutely fine. We're all different. But find the thing that you like because then you'll be more inclined to do it. Yeah, to move That'd your body a bit. Yeah. Just do something. You know, get out into nature, get out in fresh air, whether it be, you know, if you've got a dog, walking your dog or just walking around the block. And all because, of this does affect your business as well, doesn't it? And it opens up your brain to more creativity too. It does, and it's productivity as well, because we've all done it. You know, sometimes mm. the next bit I would go to would be the morning routine, because I used to be awful in the morning. If I didn't talk to any be anyone before about half past ten, four coffees and a muffin or something. Right. Um, even then, I was like growling rather than actually having a conversation. <laughs> Whereas now, I naturally wake up at half past six in the morning. Mm. Naturally. Every morning, wide awake, and I'm up. And it's like, where's Helen gone? <laughs> what, what <laughs> but now that's just normal for me. So I, I, you know, I get up, I have my different products and stuff that I have in the morning, I have a coffee. But then I'll sit, and as if I didn't actually plan this, but they are right here. First one is, I don't know if you can see that, is my gratitude journal. So it's like oh, that. yeah. Um, every day, it's a good day to start with gratitude. So the first thing I do is I write in here about things I'm grateful for. And it can it be really does help just gratitude, doesn't That's it? it? I mean, it's, it's really important to remember that as well because it's so simple but so important and it really works. So I, I think if you are suffering to remember what you're grateful for and, and remember to write those things down is important and obviously you Helen you've got into that routine of it and so you're saying like it was quite a few years ago that you got diagnosed with depression and anxiety now and how's that now is it now maintainable it's it, it comes and call it how best to describe it one of my friends a long time ago before I was long run before I was diagnosed before and I think mental health quite rightly now gets a lot more attention because it's you know very misunderstood and yeah. it is something I'm very very passionate about a friend said to me she was actually glad she had depression 
because she now knew what to look for and she recognised the signs so she could stop it before it became a really big thing for her. In herself, yeah. In herself. So for me, yeah. I recognise that because it does from time to time, it'll rear its head and I do recognise the signs and it'll be, you know, I'll feel tired, I'll feel my energy is dragging, I'll feel... Um, you know, depression is different for everybody, but for me, it's very yeah. intense. Yeah, I lose interest in things. I don't want to do anything. My productivity is down the toilet, and I just, and, you know, I'm sat here scrolling or. Yeah, you I can tell the signs, and it is good to like learn what your body's like and what your thinking is like and, and do something about it faster. Quickly, and I've got a number of podcasts that are my favorite, you know, all mm -hmm. mindset work. Um, one in particular, actually one of the isogenics girls is a brilliant speaker, an American girl called Emily Vavra. And she doesn't just talk. It's not all isogenic stuff. It is A lot of it is mindset. And I was listening to her the other day and she did a 15 minute presentation on gratitude. Yeah. And it just does make you think. And she's saying, you know, even in the darkest of times, you can find something to be grateful for. Yeah, no, it well, sometimes it is hard in the darkest of times, but you can, and you, you know, you, you if you you kind of have to force yourself sometimes, but it, it does work. So, do you think um, we've mentioned network marketing and we've mentioned self development? Um, do you think when you joined Isogenics as a network marketing company, you stepped up your self development, and and how has that helped your life? Because I know a lot of network marketing companies have a great self-development program and it's really enlightening and, and can really um, set you off on a good foot, can't it? It can. And it was one of the things I didn't realise was part of it. Um, so I'd been through some traditional CBT therapy and then I worked with a life coach and that kind of cemented it and got me down the path of doing more reading and things like that. But then when I kind of, when things really started moving with isogenics, when we launched in the UK in May 17, all of a sudden, all of this personal development stuff, and we have our own personal development trainer who puts, you know, we have these huge events. Oh, and nice. that was changing. And a lot of the network marketing companies do. Um, most of them do have a very good personal development program alongside what they do. Yeah. And then we had... Um, I was at the, I'd won the, the trip to Vegas with Isogenics to go to the American conference in 2017, which is amazing. But while we were there, Tony Robbins did a four hour session for just for us. And that, it, it just blew my brains. It was incredible. Mm. And the more, it's almost, the more of it you do, the more of it you want to do, because you can see how it changes the way you look at things. So you become very um, solution focused. So even, when you're looking, when you know, you can we find, all find ourselves in very difficult situations, yeah, and much more resilient, yeah, yeah, definitely. You can either sit in the situation, and you know, and that's when you do start to struggle. And you know, if you are prone to depression or anxiety, whatever it might be, it can really start to manifest in you. But if yeah. you can switch your mindset or switch your state, you become more solution focused, so you find your way out of it rather than kind of dwelling there too long yeah and it, i think it can make you a better person to be around as well because we talk about radiators and drains don't we like it would be ho horrible if you were classed as a drain do you know what i mean but if you are a radiator then that's that's where you want to be you, you know the person who radiates the positive energy like uh, still being real and still like talking about real things but seeing this like you say the solution based outcomes what you can actually do about it what you can control and what you can focus on so it's just a different way of looking at things and there is so much material out there that there really is something for everybody because you know i mentioned tony robbins i think it's brilliant and brendan bichard, bichard is another one but they might not be for everyone but there yeah. is now so much material out there that you will find the one that resonates with oh, you definitely definitely so i've seen a lot of your pictures um with um a, an elixir is it, it um is. And it's, is it like a skin tightening it yes. looks like it's it's collagen so collagen is a bit of a buzzword 
at the minute. There's a lot of collagen products around. Um, Asogenics has been developing our collagen elixir for around 10 years. Right. And there are different types of collagen. Ours is marine collagen, so it comes from yes. fish. Um, and it's the closest to human collagen that you can get. It's a type yeah. of marine, which means that the body will react to it as if it's your own. So it's, obviously, it's very, very natural, it's organic. And part of the, what makes it so powerful is it, it's a five milligrams, which is a high um, concentration of it per dose. But we also bottle it within 0.2 of a second where from them extracting it, which means that there's no oxidization, which means you get the purest product. Mm. We've also added to it because one of the most common questions is, does it taste of fish? <laughs> no, it doesn't. Because <laughs> everyone's like, oh, do you drink fish? No, I don't drink fish. Um, it is has got goji berries and acacia berries and zinc and all of the things in it as well that are all targeted at skin, hair and nails, that kind of stuff. Right. So as we're, when we're in our 20s, we start to lose collagen. And that's when the elasticity of your skin goes, where we get fine lines, things like that. Mm. And this is replacing it, which is where you see all the skin tightening. Um, for me, my own results, it, if it, when, when you see yourself, obviously every day, you don't think so much. Yeah, you've got to take that before picture, don't it, you? It, it's, it's, remember. Horrible. it's horrible when you do your before and after pictures. It, you never get used to it. <laughs> for me, when I wake up in the morning and the girls on my team, think, they laugh at me. It's like my face fits. You know, when you first wake up and your skin's just not, you know, when you, I'm in my late 40s now, my skin in the morning didn't ever feel great. Now, my skin feels great the second I get out of bed. Um, oh, yeah. Any sun damage lines on my chest, which a lot of ladies suffer from, they've just mm -hmm. got, they've gone completely. Fine lines around my mouth are nearly gone. The biggest thing for me, um, I've suffered with knee pain for years because of running, skiing, yeah. and high impact of Even cycling, yeah. And all of the, you know, all the different things just impact. And I didn't realise straight away because you just, it's something that you're used to. And one of my friends has had a similar um, experience with her back. Because it's something you're used to, you don't really notice it too much. And then it was, you know, probably three or four weeks in, I thought, my knees don't hurt anymore. And that's Gosh. because the collagen works on um, cartilage and your soft tissues as well. Mm. So for me, that... It's great. I'm delighted with my skin. I'm delighted with my hair, my nails, and things like that. But for me to not be in pain virtually every day with my knees, yeah, I mean the is, skin, hair, and nails. That's like it, it's still important to us, but it's kind of like the aesthetic outer side of you, which you still want to look amazing. But what what is it doing for the inside of you as well? It's working yeah. on both. Yeah. It, and it's it's the things you can't see, you know, because we're having results with people who've got um, skin conditions. So you'll see a lot of, you know, there's, I mean, there's pictures all over my Facebook. P people who've suffered with, you know, redness of the, on their face and inflammation. Yeah. Of skin, just clearing it all. Mm. Really, obviously, we don't make any claims. And so is this a little shot that you take? Or... Yeah. It's, I've normally got one hanging around, actually. There, you just keep them in the fridge. It's just a little bottle. And it's the most sustainable product we've ever made. So every single thing is recyclable, mm -hmm. um, which is brilliant because it's becoming, obviously, that is becoming more and more of an issue. A little bottle, individual bottles, you literally take the lid off it and drink it. So yeah. for us, um, helping people with businesses, because now more than ever, people need more than one stream of income. Mm. So when, you, when I'm working with somebody with nutrition, there's a lot of coaching involved. So I make sure, you know, that they know which products to have and when. I advise them on their other food that they eat. So, you know, what they have for dinner, what snacks they might like to eat, if they want to, if they're going out. Um, because it is all about balance. So a lot of people don't have the time to do that coaching. Whereas with a little bottle of collagen, the client, all they have to do is take the lid off it and drink it. And that's, yeah. you know, it's so much easier. But we're working. I mean, I do love that like holistic approach that you're taking. Like, you know, you've got your products with antigenics for the nutrition, but then you're talking about all the different meals and exercise and things like that. But yeah, like you say, for the collagen, you just whip the top off, get it in, and it'll just bring results. Anyway, you don't have to think about it after that. You know, you just have to order it whenever you run out, I guess. 
you do and we because everything goes through an app so it's not me um you know banging on it like, put an order in do you want anything because i it, that is not there's nothing wrong with that cause that's how some places work but for me that wasn't something like how i would like to work so all of my clients they have their own app and they just right. order it when, when they're ready you can set it up to come monthly if you want or you can just set it up where you just order it as and when you need it oh that's and handy you, isn't it yeah it's a bit easier because then you're in control you know as mm. a client and you decide what you want and when and, the and thing, it goes direct to the client so they are just not waiting for no, you to deliver it and stuff like that yeah i don't have to hold any stock and this is where i'm working with a lot of um aesthetics practitioners beauty salons because if you imagine as um a beauty therapist or an aesthetics practitioner you can only earn so much money by treating clients because it's only 24 hours in a day so yeah. even if you worked you know 24 hours without a rest it is very much you can only fit so many clients yeah. in whereas with this they don't have to hold stock by introducing people to it they're getting themselves and people can better. order any time of the day so they can shut up shop at like uh, yeah. five o'clock but then they could be getting orders on the app at like 8 p.m when they're just yeah, having they're the just like, like, they're not yeah yeah exactly. and like it has with covid obviously it has like made sure that people do think about different streams of income because you know if that happens again or maybe when that happens again hopefully not but you know we want to be okay you know we don't want to go through that massive turmoil again do we no and it was awful you know and for me my business grew during that period because yeah. i became very very aware of the health but also because the products are delivered to the door when yeah. people went out they were able to get decent nutrition it's like contact them. free so yeah and it was it was easy for them but then a lot of people um one girl is an example she was a personal trainer so her business just stopped so she focused her attention on growing her isogenics business because we can do it all over you know teams zoom whatever you yeah. choose or yeah. phone, um all online and it's still related to her business yeah. Absolutely. in that industry isn't it it's still health and wellness it is and it's her you know she obviously knows her stuff around nutrition and everything like that and she mm. managed to grow her isogenics business during covid so now it's the income is something like three or four times what she would have earned from being a personal trainer yeah that's great isn't it so it's just, and it's it just shows the possibility of it so now she has both and she's yeah. built it to a point where it will just continue to build. like we're all going to retire at some point or want to do less work at some point exactly. so that's something to like consider for people like so so i know somebody who's a mobile beautician and she doesn't want to be going around to do the mobile beautician work as she when she retired like you know she wants to kind of semi-retire you know what i mean so just thinking about the future and things like that isn't it so we um, it's an, it's an asset that can be it's willable so our I can oh is it so oh my business will be left to Haley. yeah so i'm already building an asset that um will you know it's, it will be my pension because it just grows and it's yeah it's that's just, a lot pension. easier than another business so say if it was you left your accountancy business to Haley she would have to be an accountant <laughs> to carry it on the income just because of the residual income model which is our yeah country, you know network marketing and that's the power of it you've been paid time and time again for work that you did you know i have some yeah. clients that came on board in may 17 and i've bought products every month ever since mm. and i you know, keep in touch with them because they come friends but i don't actually have to do any work but i'm still yeah. paying you don't have to do that work I did tell then. anything again as such yeah um so obviously we could chat for ages um well if people want to get in contact with you um what should they do to contact you or do you want to leave your details in the comments the best, I'll pop them in the comments but the best way for me is Facebook everything is done through my personal Facebook page I don't have a group there um I think Facebook book Facebook groups are brilliant when they run really well but like mine. <laughs> um and it is you know it is a great group and there's great community and i've made friends through that group that you know nothing to do with business just people you get to chat yeah. to. So that, 
that's great but I think people are a bit over being added to groups all the time mm -hmm. and invited to like pages so I do everything through my personal profile which is Helen Spring Turner um I do have Instagram and I don't do a great deal on them a bit hit and miss yeah I linked too, but Facebook is my main area so Facebook Messenger um Fantastic. So what I'll do, I'll edit this, um, I'll edit the top uh, writing so I can tag your name in it as well. But if you comment below as well, uh, then everybody can um, get in touch with you and send you a message and ask any questions and things like that. Um, so Helen is one of our Gossip Gals Golds. So it's been brilliant to have you on and um, really get to know a little bit more in depth about your business, you know, not just uh, the before and after pictures it's so good to just learn in depth about it so and the, the story it always blows me away what you've been through with it as well um, so if anybody's interested in being another gossip gals gold let me know uh, because he, these interviews are available um and yeah we've chatted for over 30 minutes it's been wow great um so i will catch up with you all later and helen is um open to um any messages and comments so we'll, we'll check back in a bit okay thanks everybody thanks for joining us see you later bye